السلام علیکم ایوری ون آئی ایم عائشہ صدف اینڈ مائی گروپ ممبر از مصباح واجد وی آر دا اسٹوڈنٹس آف کیمیکل انجینئرنگ فرام کامسرس یونیورسٹی ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو گیو یو این اوور ویو اباؤٹ نینو مٹیریلس ایز یو آل نو ٹوڈے نینو مٹیریل از اے واس ٹاپک ان وچ اے لاٹ آف ریسرچ ہیز بین ڈن table of contents include nanomaterials nanotechnology history of nanomaterials classification of nanomaterials their unique properties and their application in our daily life first i will tell you what nanomaterials are nanomaterials is a field that takes a material science based approach to nanotechnology It studies materials with morphological features on nanoscale and especially those that have special properties stemming from their nanoscale dimensions. A nanoscale is can be defined as smaller than one tenth of a micrometer in at least one dimension, though this term is sometimes also used for materials more smaller than one micrometer. Nanotechnology Nanotechnology sometimes it is also called nanotech is the study of manipulating matter on atomic and molecular scale generally nanotechnology deals with structure size between 10 1 to 10 100 nanometer in at least one dimension and it involves developing materials or devices possessing at least one dimension within that now i'm going to tell you what was the real history uh, involved behind nanomaterials in 1974 the word nanotechnology first coined by nerio taniguchi university of tokyo it was first used as production of technology to get ultra fine accuracy and precision up to 1 nanometer in 1881 ibm invented stm scanning tunneling microscope which can move uh, single atoms around um In the 1985 new form of carbon was discovered which was C60 Buckminster fluorine 60 carbon atoms arranged in a sphere made up of 12 pentagons and 60 hexagons During the 4th century like Kyrgyz chalice uh, were found uh, as you can see there are two figures given here Uh, in one figure you can see that uh, the cup with the diffused light and the other one is with when the light was directly focused through it in 1991 carbon nanotubes discovered were discovered uh, which were graphitic carbon needles ranging from 4 nanometer up to 30 nanometers and up to 1 micron in length in 1993 first quality quantum dots were prepared these were very small particles uh, with controlled diameters of cadmium sulfide cadmium uh, sel- selenium and cadmium tellurium in 2000 first dna motor was uh, made which was uh, similar to motorized uh, tweezers which uh, may be useful uh, for uh, com- to make computers uh, 1000 uh, more powerful as you can see from the figure it is uh, given give you an over give you a view about the dna motors which can be attached um, to electrically conducting molecules which can act as basic switches In 2001 first prototype fuel cell was made with the help of nanotubes. In 2002 nanomaterials make stain repellent trousers uh, which are nano care khakis having nano whiskers. These are from ranging from 10 to up to 100 nanometer in length. There are many types of nanomaterials but the, uh, some of the common types uh, are carbon based nanomaterials metal based nanomaterials then dendrimers and composites 
Now I will tell you what is the basic chemistry involved behind carbon based mat based materials. These nanomaterials are composed mostly of carbon and uh, they mostly form holospheres, ellipsoids or tube. The spherical and ellipsoidal carbon nanomaterials are referred to as fluorines while cylindrical ones are called nanotubes. These particles have many potential applications including improved films and coatings, stronger and lighter materials and applications in electronics. Metal based materials These nanomaterials include quantum dots, nanogold, nano silver and metal oxide such as titanium oxide. Uh, a quantum dot is basically a closely packed semiconductor crystal uh, comprised of hundreds or thousands of atoms whose size is on the order of, of a few nanometers to a few nanometers. The changing the size of quantum dots changing changes the their optical property. Nanodimers. Nanodimers can be defined as the nanomaterials which are nano sized polymers built from branched units. The surface of a dendrimer has numerous chain ends which can be tailored to perform specific chemical functions. This property can also be used for catalysis. Also because their three-dimensional tendrimers contain interior cavities into which other molecules could be placed, they may be useful for drug delivery. Composites Composites usually combine with nanoparticles uh, and other nanoparticles or with larger bulk type materials. Nanoparticles such as nano-sized clays are already being added to products ranging from autopods to packaging materials to enhance mechanical thermal barrier and flame retardant properties. Now my group member Ms. Bawajid are going to give you the info about uh, unique properties of nanomaterials and uh, their uh, applications um, in our daily life. Thanks Aisha. As Aisha has explained the nanomaterials, nanotechnology and the types of nanomaterials. Now I will tell you the unique properties of nanomaterials. The unique properties of these various types of intensely produced nanomaterials give them novel electrical, catalytic, magnetic, mechanical, thermal or imaging features that are highly desirable for applications in commercial, medical, military and environmental sectors. These materials may also find their way into more complex nanostructure and systems as new uses for material with these special properties are identified. The number of products containing such nanomaterials and their possible applications continues to grow. Now the applications of nanomaterial. We find many applications of nanomaterials and nanotechnology in our daily life. Some of their useful applications are in field of medicines, environment, energy, information and communication, heavy industry and consumer goods. Now the applications of nanomaterial in the field of medicines. The biological and medical research communities have exploited the unique properties of nanomaterial for various applications. For example, contrast agents for cell imaging and the therapeutics for treating, for treating cancer. The integration of nanomaterials with biology has led, the, has led to the development of diagnostic devices, drug delivery vehicles, tissue engineering. Now come towards the environment. A strong influence of photochemistry on waste water treatment, air purification and energy storage devices is to be expected. Mechanical or chemical methods can be used for effective filtration techniques. One class of filtration technique is based on the use of membranes with suitable hole sizes whereby the liquid is pressed through the membrane. Nanoporous membranes are suitable for a mechanical filtration with extremely small pores smaller than 10 nanometer and may be composed of nanotubes. Nanofiltration is mainly used for the removal of ions or separation of different fluids. As we are suffering from energy crisis, 
Now what is the most advanced nanotechnology projects related to energy can help us to overcome these energy crises by storage conversion, manufacturing improvements, by reducing materials and process rates, and enhanced renewable energy sources. Reduction of energy consumption, increasing the efficiency of energy production, recycling of batteries. Information and Communication Current high technology production processes are based on traditional top-down strategies where nanotechnology has already been introduced silently. The critical length scale of integrated circuits is already at the nanoscale regarding the gate length of transistor in CPUs or DRAM devices. First of all, memory storage. Electronic memory designs in the past have largely relied on the formation of transistor. However, research in crossbar switch based electronics have offered an alternative using configurable interconnections between vertical and horizontal wiring arrays to create ultra high density memories. Novel semiconductor devices. An example of such novel semiconductor devices is based on spintronics. Novel optoelectronic devices. In the modern communication technology, traditional analog electrical devices are increasingly replaced by optical or optoelectronic devices due to their numerous band bandwidth and capacity. Displays The production of displays with low energy consumption could be accomplished using carbon nanotubes. Quantum computers Entirely new approach for computing exploit the laws of quantum mechanics for, no for novel quantum computers which enable, which enable the use of fast quantum algorithm. Heavy industry An inevitable use of nanotechnology are in heavy industry. Aerospace Nano Nanomaterials are used to make aircrafts which are lighter in weight. Catalysis Catal uh, chemical catalysis benefit especially from nanomaterials due to extremely la large surface to volume ratio. Next is construction. Nanotechnology, is, nanotechnology has potential to make construction cheaper, faster, safer and more valid. It is also used in vehicle manufacturing. The last one is consumer goods. Nanotechnology is already impacting the field of consumer goods, providing products with novel functions ranging from easy to clean to scratch resistance. Nanotechnology finds many applications in food, household, optics, textile, cosmetics, and agriculture. Thanks. This is all about the nanot nanomaterials. I hope our presentation will help you to better understand what, uh, what are nanomaterials and what are their basic use in nowadays.